today's first question is from uh, Hillary Jones. Hi, Math Mike. My name's Hillary Jones, and I have a question. Why can't you divide by zero? That's a really good question, Hillary, but you can't divide by zero, because when you do, just everything decides to break down. I'll show you what happens. First, we're going to start out with two variables, A and B. We're going to set them equal to each other, so we're going to assume A is equal to B. We're going to start with some manipulation, and we'll see where it goes from there. So let's start off by multiplying each side by A. After that, we're going to subtract B squared from both sides. Next, we're going to have to remember some of the factoring that we did earlier this year. So, let's remember a squared minus b squared factors into a minus b times a plus b. And on the other side, since they both have a b in common, we're going to factor out a b. The next step is we're going to cancel a minus b out on both sides. This leaves us with a plus b is equal to b. But if we remember our original assumption that a is equal to b, and we plug that back into a, then we're going to get b plus b is equal to b, which means that 2b is equal to 1b, and 2 is equal to 1. So the main mistake that we made right here is the fact that we divided by 0. Right here, if we remembered, we said a minus b. If a is equal to b, then a minus b would have to be 0. And here, when we cancel each other out, we're actually dividing each side by 0. As soon as we do that, everything falls apart. 2 starts to equal 1. Alright, that's it for Math Mike. See you next time.